All right, let me give you another example of how to factor things like x squared plus bx plus c. So suppose I had x squared minus x minus 6. So right here, right, on the minus x, I'm thinking that's the add part. And right here on the minus 6, that's the multiply part, right? So I'm looking for two numbers that add to 1, really minus 1, but you can drop the sign, and multiply to 6, okay? So numbers that multiply together to 6 are what? 2 and 3 or 6 and 1. Now if I add and subtract 2 and 3, I could get either 5 or 1. And if I add and subtract 6, I could get 6 and 1, I could get either 5 or 7. Right? That one didn't work. This one's the one I'm looking for, because that has a 1 in it, right? That I was trying to add to. So then I go, okay, I'm going to fit these into my form. So there's an x, a 2, and a 3. And now I need to decide on signs here. So I need them to multiply together to be something negative. That means the signs have to be opposite. And I need them to add to negative x. So the bigger one, the 3, has to be negative, And the 2 has to be positive. Then you could FOIL this out to check and see if you got it right. But we did. OK, so boom. We factored that thing. So this was x squared minus x minus 6. Over here, I've got x squared minus x plus 6. That feels really, really similar, right? So on this one, I need to add to negative 1. And I need to multiply to <laughs> multiply to 6, right? So I go through this same process with my numbers, right? 6 and 1 still don't work. 2 and 3 are still the jam I'm looking for. So I go, OK. So this is going to be x and 2 and x and 3. And now this is, this is what I meant by sometimes this doesn't happen. So if I put in, let's see, they've got to multiply together to be positive 6, right? So either they're both positive, uh, and then they add to 5. So that doesn't work, right? So they can't both be positive. Maybe they're both negative. They're both negative. I do multiply to positive 6, but now they add to negative 5. Crap. Um, so to get them to add to negative 1, right, they have to be x plus 2 and x minus 3. But this doesn't multiply to be positive 6. See that? This one just doesn't factor. Nope. Does not factor. Cool? You guys see that? So I think as far as an answer goes for this one, I'd write doesn't factor. Boom. You could adapt a word. So you could call that thing prime. A prime is a number that doesn't factor, right? So we might call a polynomial that doesn't factor the same thing. You guys cool with this idea? So just remember the middle thing is what you add to, and the last thing is what you multiply to. And then remember, crucially, sometimes it just doesn't work. Like sometimes this isn't going to happen, and that's okay.